Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Saturday here and we're gonna have a pretty casual day. Um, I'm 35 weeks currently pregnant. Um, so we're gonna go and do a couple of final bits of shopping for the baby. So we thought we'd bring you along with that. And then we've got a couple of good treats that we're gonna do along the way, mm. including some lunch or something. Yeah, a bit of lunch and a little morning tea. Mm. Get us going. Brooke has to bribe me with to go shopping with her, uh, to spend a day of shopping, there's always that, come on, I'll buy you lunch, I'll buy you something yummy, so, hence, we're both going shopping today, mm. so. Mm -hmm. And it's a really, really rainy day, so, shop's probably going to be pretty busy, so I had to bribe him with food somehow. Exactly. Alright guys, we'll see you in a little bit. This is Ryan from the future who is currently editing this video you're watching right now. I just wanted to quickly take a second to say thank you for watching. Um, you guys, the support in the last couple of videos have blown us away. Um, but also, if you do like this, we just really want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel, um, ring the bell notification, so that way you get notified every time we post new videos. To make sure to like and comment on these videos, because at the moment, 99.8% of the people watching our videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So, if you go as far as to watch a video, and you know what, you don't mind it, jump down there, subscribe, show us some support, show us some love. We'd love to get to know all of you in the comments and we'll definitely be active and communicating with everybody. We have a lot more videos to post. Um, we're really enjoying doing this. So your support for our channel makes us really motivated to keep going, keep pushing on and keep publishing more videos and making more videos. Anyway, just wanted to quickly jump in. I'll get you guys back to the video now. the day we went to oh yeah first bubble tea we both got a brown sugar fresh milk tea and then we went to bread top and got a whole heap of goodies there Ooh, as well all the goodies so Ryan and I kind of have our favorites there but we also got a couple of sweets this time so yeah which we start with that guy so this is the one that Ryan loves the most it's got like Cheerio sausages in it. Yeah, it's called the twin sausage bun. It's phenomenal. So rip him open. So inside you got like a little Frankfurt sausage. Inside you get a little hot dog. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of it. It is pretty good, but it's not my favourite. No, I don't want any. Okay. I'm gonna start. I got like a 
I think this is the one I've had before. It's almost like um, sometimes it comes with barbecue sauce though. I think it's just like a cheesy sweet bread. Yeah, it's just like almost like a little like pizza bread. It's just got like cheese, some sauce, an oniony flavor on a sweet bread. Is it cheese? Mm. It's got a chicken on it as well, I think. Mm. Yum. Can't go wrong. So we got a Japanese curry bun as well. Bust him open for it. Just kind of break it in the middle. And then we got a egg tart. And just a normal cinnamon donut because that's my biggest craving this week. So we thought why not? Beauty. All right, so we're gonna eat. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So we have just wrapped up our little morning tea treat, which now means that we have to go shopping, which, yep. you, which you're very happy about. Okay. I'd rather have another serve of that, but yeah, we'll take you along for the ride and we'll be having some yummy lunch after our little shopping haul. So we'll see you soon. So we finally finished the shopping. On our way out of the shopping center, we swung into Coles to get a few things for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. And when we were in there, we were surprised to see a whole mochi fridge of all sorts of different flavors. They also had macaroons in mm -hmm. there. Um, it looked excellent. So honestly, we've been walking around the shops for close to two hours. So yeah, I reckon it was like three. Three hours? Yeah. So I think we've earned a mochi ice cream. So we have... We got coconut, the mango, white one, The white one's coconut. Mango and strawberry. Yeah, so they're looking pretty good. Which? What do you want to try first? I want to try... Maybe the mango one. Try the oh, mango. they've softened. They've softened? They were very hard when we got them. Oh, they're nice. Yummy. You have to try first. Mm. The rest. Mm. Mm. Mm, yum. They're really good. Mm. For like just like store bought mochi. They're a dollar fifty each, so I don't know, I think that's alright. Mm. It's not not too expensive, not to mm. anything. Strawberry? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. The texture of the mochi is a bit different on that one. It's nicer. Mm. I think the mango softened a little too much. 
And this one's almost like a strawberry, like frozen yogurt inside, whereas the mango was like a gelato. Yeah, the mango was a bit like icy inside and mm. thinner, thinner mochi coating. Where the strawberry, that's got mm. quite a thick, like mm. a thick mochi coating, and, and it's, it's a bit more creamy. But it's not like artificial strawberry. Mm. It's like it's good. quite a subtle sweetness. Mm. Coconut. Go for it. it smells coconutty. Mm. Is it coconut? Probably not as coconutty as what you thought it would have been. Mm. I like that though. Do ya? Mm. That's my least. It's favorite. pretty subtle. It's pretty subtle. Brookie's not a big coconut flavour person. I love coconut stuff. Um, but yeah, that's quite a subtle flavour. It's almost more of like a vanilla with a mm. with a hint of coconut in it. But yeah, all in all, extremely good. It's a little pre-lunch snack and we're now off to go get lunch so we'll see you guys So we've just had a bit of a late lunch at Sushi Homba, which is one of our all-time favorite sushi restaurants in the Gold mm. Coast. Mm -hmm. It's around the corner from home. It's cheap, it's convenient. It's it's relatively well it's relatively well priced mm. for the quality you get. It's not bargain but it's not expensive but you get really good quality. What for what it? it is. Three dollars fifty a plate. Yeah, three dollars fifty a plate. So it's it's good for what it is. Mm. Um, and it's a regular on our list, isn't it? We go there what once every week, once every other week. Yeah. It's, and they're good because they're so busy, so there's so much turnover of the sushi that it's so fresh. Yeah, everything's really good. Mm. So while we're in there, the it was really loud in there. There was a lot of copyright music that if we play in these videos it's gonna get taken down. So, and we don't know how our little microphone's held up. It's the first time we're testing out this microphone. So we're just seeing how it goes. So some of the footage in there might not really be usable. Um, so we thought we'd give you a quick recap on how our meal was and what we got. So essentially for entrees, we grabbed some karage chicken, yep. which come out freshly fried, a little bit of mayonnaise, which was really good. Uh, Brookie loves that with the like the eel sauce or like the Worcestershire, like the sweet, the sweet, sweet thick teriyaki sweet. almost. Yeah, mm. you love that with it. Mm. Um, I'm a sucker for just the good old Kewpie on it. Uh, we also ordered, you ordered your favourite. I got my favorite. usual which is a spicy tuna avocado roll and it's got like a spicy like sauce on top with like a little couple of chilli flakes. And oh, it's got the togaroshi on top, togaroshi. which is like the chilli powder and sesame seeds and stuff like that all mixed into one. Mm. Uh, I got my, I always, I love their hand rolls, so I always get them. I got an ebby fry, which is a fried, like a fried prawn and avocado hand roll. 
and I also love the fresh tuna hand roll, which is a uh, like sashimi tuna and avocado in a hand roll. So I got those, and then we got a heap of nigiris as well. Mm -hmm. So we grabbed, we had some seared scallop, which is like a buri scallop. We had a buri salmon, and we had a buri crab. Yep. Yeah, so we got three of those. There was four it? because I got two two yeah. of the aburi scallop, scallops. Yeah. They are like my all-time favorite sushi. Um, aburi scallops, just seared with a blowtorch, but like raw underneath. Mm. So good. So. We usually go for a little bit more food, but we had a later breakfast this morning, so we decided to kind of just keep it at that, and then we're pretty close to dinner. Not close to dinner, but. Yeah. We thought we'd leave enough room for dinner as well. Yeah, big time. So, overall, excellent. Yeah. Always good. Always so good there. Um, we've honestly never had a bad meal or bad experience there. The staff are so friendly and so nice. I think all of that food come out and that was, what, 30? 30, 37.50, I think 37.50, so good value for money. Mm. Good little afternoon snack. It's like a late lunch now. It's almost what's well, just gone three o'clock so it's one of those things that happens sometimes when you get a bit busy yeah and now home time we're gonna go home and see our first child which is our dog <laughs> go see Bill she's Billy. Gone. go give her a pat she's been at home stuck at home all day in the rain so she'll be quite miserable and ready to have a play yeah so yeah all in all good day yep busy Start day we'll show you kind of a rundown if we think of it of what we got throughout the day but as we said it's kind of boring bits that we needed for the baby and we're hoping to film some more videos in regards to baby stuff so you'll probably just see it then yeah we want to put a little bit of our baby baby stuff on the channel as well because obviously that's something very exciting for us and very new for us mm. so yeah we are keen to share and show everyone what's going on mm -hmm. so Better head home and we'll see you guys in the next video.